This brief tutorial is to help a student navigate through the what-if analysis under degree evaluation as they consider moving from their current catalogue to the new fall 2011 catalogue. Under the student information menu in the rail, under degree evaluation, once selected, the what-if analysis appears in the bottom right. Choosing the what-if analysis then asks you to choose the catalogue that you want to move to, in this case to fall 2011. It will then ask you a series of questions with regards to the major that you're interested in looking at. For this instance, I'm going to use creative writing for English. It will then ask you a number of questions about, for example, the campus and the first major. In this case, the concentration is creative writing and the minor, for this example, is going to be psychology. Having chosen the catalogue, the major minor, a submission will then give you a quick check to make sure you have everything correct, and then finally will generate the request. The request will now take your courses on your current transcript and apply them to that catalogue with that major and that minor. So we have the fall 2011 catalogue, English creative writing as a major, and effectively psychology as a minor. As you're probably aware, We've moved to 120 credit hours to graduate rather than 128. The student who has 35 obviously has not met this requirement, but is meeting the requirement in terms of GPA. First item up is the major. There's obviously for the student a number of courses that they haven't taken that they need to complete. In the minor, they have two courses that they have taken that are meeting some of their requirements. The T here on the far right hand side is saying that these were transfer courses with their grade and the number of credit hours. They still have a number of restricted electives and free electives that they need to take. The other advantage here is it will give you a working calculation of the number of credit hours and the GPA within that minor. Also, they'll do this for your major as well, but since they haven't taken any courses in their major as yet, that's why these values up here are zero. The core curriculum, which used to be known as General Studies, now is broken up into three main tiers with 42 credit hours. Tier 1 is clearly indicated by a 1 in front of, for example, composition, first year experience, history and so forth. This student took courses here at Shepherd, shown by an H, the grades and the number of credit hours. And as we move through, obviously some things they've met and some things they haven't met. They're still missing one credit hour in their lab-based sciences, for example. In the second tier, the arts, humanities, social sciences, wellness, and writing in the major are listed here. So far only wellness has been met. They have a psychology 101 course but they need a total of nine credit hours. They only have three so therefore this has not been met. A number of courses in terms of GSP 210, Art 103, Music 111 have moved from two credit hours to three credit hours. So you need to talk to your academic advisor with regards to the impact on those courses and how they're going to affect you as you move to a new catalogue. The writing in the major is specific and therefore again is another conversation to have with your academic advisor. And finally your capstone course, which may be a co-op or an internship, is again specific to the major and is usually carried out in consultation with your advisor. Another part of the core as part of the liberal arts that we have now at Shepherd is that we have to meet a knowledge in terms of civic knowledge and engagement, global understanding and respect, and multiculturalism and diversity. So in the second tier, there are certain expressions associated with courses. So here we have second tier. For this particular student, they've met all three components, the GL, the global understanding and respect. They've met MD, multiculturalism and diversity, and CK, the civic knowledge and engagement. They have to have courses that each of these three items are met. No course can meet more than one of those items. Since this is an English major, there's 12 credit hours of a language, French, German, Spanish, for example, that they have to meet. And finally, there's a list of courses that they've taken associated with free electives that haven't been applied to both major or minor. And so therefore, this is a conversation to have with your advisor and department chair to see if some of these courses might actually be applied to your major or minor. And finally, we still have an upper division hours. And in this case, the student has not met upper division hours. They still need some more to collect yet. 
So hopefully this is a fast introduction to doing a what-if analysis. Hopefully this will begin a number of questions that you can have with your academic advisor. Or you can stop by the Advising Assistance Centre in the library and they'll help you navigate through the what-if analysis and formulate those questions for your advisor. Thank you.